Hey, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. My name is Chris Down. Uh, in this video, what we're going to be talking about is how to actually structure your Google Ads account. Now, if you're new to my channel, what I do here is I talk all about Google Ads, um, some of the different niches that I work in. Uh, but today, we're going to be talking specifically about how to structure your Google Ads account, how to structure your campaign. And um, I work primarily in local, so local lead gen for local businesses. Um, this will still be relevant if you are running e-commerce campaigns. You're gonna take those same principles, it's just gonna be different keywords, um, but regardless of what you're doing, how to structure a Google Ads account is uh, pretty much the same regardless of what you're doing. And, um, and yeah, we'll jump right into it. So I figured it would also be good to mention that um, you know, I, I did talk about how I work with local campaigns. Um, in this video, we're going to be talking primarily about uh, search campaigns, so just Google search campaigns. I won't be covering display. I'm not going to be covering like Google Shopping or anything like that. So I'll be talking mainly about search campaigns. And the way I'm going to do things is I have a few slides I'm going to go through, and then I'm actually going to go into a couple of uh, live accounts that I have right now and actually kind of demonstrate what that looks like and what um, that campaign structure kind of looks like. So really what we need to understand before we get into that is keyword themes and relevance. So really what we're going to be doing is we're going to be structuring a lot of our campaign around the different keyword themes that we find when we're doing our keyword research. So um, when I say themes, I mean essentially groupings of keywords that are talking about the same thing or they have the same intent. So those themes, those are gonna make up our ad groups and within each one of those ad groups, we're gonna create ads that are relevant to the theme of those keywords that are in each of those ad groups. That was a bit of a mouthful, but I'll kind of show you what that looks like in a little bit. Um, this is gonna create a user experience that's really, really highly relevant to what someone is searching. So that's gonna help you get a higher click through rate. And then also if that messaging lines up well with your landing page, like the, the copy in your ads line up well with your landing page, you should also see um, higher conversion rates as a result of all of this kind of being lined up properly. So um, one of the examples I have is actually a detailing campaign. I have that and I have junk removal. But let's just say, just for the sake of example, you're building a campaign for an auto detailing business. When you're doing your keyword research, you know, you're in your keyword planner, looking through all the different keyword ideas, you're gonna find a lot of different themes. There's gonna be car detailing, auto detailing, mobile auto detailing, truck detailing, etc all of these different keyword themes are gonna become individual ad groups when you're building out your account. So if you are creating um, just one ad group for car detailing related keywords, you're gonna gather all of those car detailing keywords from the keyword planner. Usually what I do is I just kind of organize them all on a spreadsheet. So I just kind of group them up into their different themes. I'm gonna drop all of those car detailing keywords into the same ad group. I'm gonna write ads within that ad group that all have to do with car detailing. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna send those people to a landing page that talks specifically about car detailing. And then uh, pretty much what you're gonna do is you're just gonna do that for all of the different keyword themes on your account. So with all that out of the way, let's actually just jump into a couple of campaigns and we'll take a look at a couple of live examples. All right, so we are inside uh, one of the two accounts that we will be looking at. Um, this particular account is uh, focused in junk removal. And pretty much what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of give you the rundown on how your accounts should be structured. Unfortunately, I can't go in and just like show you the ads themselves or the landing pages because they are, this is an active account. Um, you know, that's kind of, I guess, my client's sort of quote unquote competitive advantage in their own marketplace. Um, so I, I, I don't want to be like showing off their ads and their landing pages and all that kind of stuff. But with this, I can still kind of walk you through what your account should look like in terms of its structure. So up here on the left, you have the campaign itself up here. Um, if you're not familiar with how all of the, you know, kind of Google ads setup goes up here, this is where you're going to essentially define all of your settings, your location targeting, your budget, your bids, all that kind of stuff happens up here. Within this campaign, you see all these different ad groups that I have here. So this is going back to those keyword themes that I was talking about. Within each one of these ad groups is a different keyword theme. So if I were to go into Junk Removal Colorado Springs, for example, you're gonna see all of the keywords within this particular ad group are focused on that particular theme. Junk Removal Colorado Springs, Junk Hauling Colorado Springs, it's all dealing with that specific geographic keyword. And what I've done is I've grouped all of these within that ad group 
and then all the ads that are here are all uh, talking about junk removal in Colorado Springs. So it's everything has to kind of like line up in that funnel. So you have the ad group, all of the keywords are grouped within that theme, and then the ads speak to that theme, and then they get sent, once they click on the ad, they get sent to a landing page that talks about junk removal in Colorado Springs. So pretty, pretty straightforward. Another example here, and pretty much I'm not gonna go through every single one of these um, cause that will probably bore you to death, but same kind of idea here. We've got appliance removal. So again, appliance removal, Colorado Springs, appliance removal service, refrigerator disposal. It's all you know, appliance removal service. Everything within this particular ad group is all grouped around that one theme that all those keywords get put into one ad group got appliance removal ads and it is sending them to an appliance removal landing page. So that is pretty much, you know, at a really high level how this all works. And when you do all of that, you have all of these different ad groups themed properly. Everything within each of these ad groups has those keywords. And then you show people um, relevant ads to what they're searching. You're going to get a higher conversion rate. So this is overall on this particular campaign, about a 32.91% conversion rate. Um, and that's because you've got this structure set up from the start. Obviously, there's more optimization that goes in to get um, you know higher conversion rates, but it, it all starts with the, the account and kind of campaign structure like this. Another quick example here, this is a detailing campaign. This is the past you know roughly 30 days on this one. Same kind of idea here. Even it, like some of these differences in keywords seem really minor, like auto detailing versus car detailing. But when you get granular with structuring it like that, it's going to help you get bigger click through rates because, you know, it's, it's all about the relevance. It's about relevance to what somebody's searching. It's about relevance to, um, you know, what, what they're looking for at the end of the day. And if you can, you know, if you're, de if you're bidding on car detailing keywords, you show them an ad that speaks directly to car detailing, you're going to get higher click through rates and you should get higher conversion rates as well. So 28% on that particular ad group. And um, same kind of idea here. So usually what I'm doing is I have, you know, more generic service related ad groups. So I have car detailing, auto detailing, uh, paint correction, truck detailing, SUV, de SUV detailing. And you will notice that probably about 80% of your traffic is gonna come from 20% of your ad groups. So if you create an ad group like this one, like truck detailing, and it only gets four impressions, don't worry about it. Not everything's going to have um, an amazing amount of search traffic. Um, also mobile auto detailing. And then I also, since these are local campaigns, I'll do uh, geographic related search terms as well. So I'll do any kind of keywords relating to this particular town, to Houston, Pasadena. And, um, and yeah, that's pretty much how I structure my accounts. And just to kind of do one last recap, you know, campaign level, group all your keywords within these ad groups within each one of these ad groups. So show people ads pertaining to the keywords in these ad groups and then send people to, um, if you can do specific landing pages for each ad group, you can do that. It doesn't have to be a specific landing page for every single ad group, but um, at the very least sending people to you know specific ads and then sending them to a landing page can get you solid conversion rates on that campaign. But that is pretty much it for uh, how to Kind of structure your campaign it's all about just keeping those keywords tightly themed organizing them into ad groups and then making sure this is all um, really organized just make sure you don't take everything and just kind of drop it into one ad group on your campaign just make sure it's organized and uh, keep it all tightly themed so that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it i hope you got some value from it um, if you did Make sure to like the video if you want to see more content like this. Subscribe. And um, yeah, if there's any other videos you want to see, drop them in the comments below. Uh, but in the meantime, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks.